Neato. So, so what I wanted to do today is to, you know, review the our strategy. Uh, we've been doing this for nearly three years. So, I wanted to see what has worked very well and uh, what has not worked very well, and um, see if we can make some, you know. course corrections right um i hope you understand what i mean by this right can somebody just explain to me what i just now said you know what do i mean by course correction you know can somebody just summarize my thinking um i think it means taking stock of what we did reflecting on on what worked and what hasn't worked um and trying to do more of what works and less of what doesn't work basically okay. yeah yeah that's absolutely right um yeah otherwise i can also say what have we experienced so far no sorry jamari can you come again i i didn't i didn't hear it properly i was saying it's maybe like what we have experienced so far yeah 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 Our experience is both good and bad right so how to do more good and how to remove the bad you know the thing that did not work you know or minimize it at the very or, least yeah yeah uh, and <clears throat> and also find new new way to do things also okay so we don't have to be stuck with you know the only way we know you know we can always come with new ways of doing things yeah so that's also um important so um i i am going to tell two things that i been you know really cranking my head in terms of um, what is happening because see uh, i i have spoken to many of the individual leaders you know one on one um, the last one week i'm uh, i'm uh, very seriously thinking about you know quitting my day job and uh, doing step up as a full time job um it's a very big decision for me and my family but um i i really want to you know do this because if i don't give the whole you know the same thing is there with all of you also because each one of you is involved in two things or three things or many things you know it's not um i'm sure you can understand you know when i say uh, you know i want to do this right i will not ask any, everybody to do this but i want to do this because because i think anything in life if you want to really see the end result you have to put your 100% into it you can't you can't achieve your results or goals by doing anything part time part time has never delivered any results uh, i mean part time has taken us till here but i don't think by any stretch of imagination you know we have been successful we have not been successful let's not fool ourselves to thinking that we are we are very successful we are not successful we have created um, you know maybe a 100 people who are successful but that is peanuts you know that is nothing uh, you know we are not successful you know as a as a as a full team um so my thinking is you know uh if i'm going to do this uh, full time you know i you know i want to throw everything at this because i can't do this full time for another 3 years right i will run out of my money i will become bankrupt and i'll be on the streets um so i can do full time for another 12 months maximum you know um i will put throw everything at this and then see if it succeeds then i don't have to look for another job if it fails then of course you know then i will have to think whether you know this is even 
worth uh, you know continuing because it is uh, it is not a good idea to just keep on doing something that is not working you know uh, i'm not saying you know step up dot one has not worked so far if it has not worked so far i would have dissolved it just today itself uh, as it is working but it is working very slowly painfully slowly you know and uh, for me that is a problem i i i cannot work uh, you know this slow it's really painful to work slowly uh, i mean everything takes time to work etc etc everybody thinks you know slow and steady wins the race etc but we been slow we have worked on this for 3 years not 3 days 3 months we have done this for 3 full years so now the time to press the accelerator and see if we can start flying and if we are not flying then we are not good enough okay so this is my preamble uh, you know for the discussion that i'm going to talk about you know the course correction and other things uh, anybody has anything to say about this you know i i think it's time to press the accelerator that's what i think but i want to know what do you guys think i know every one of you have the same problem every one of you have more than one job two jobs something else you know something more important many of you are studying you know i i just spoke to pascal pascal was you know studying for his university another three months um is very important for him i spoke to you know so many of you everybody has something very very important going on i i have also something very important going on which is my my job and my livelihood and everything you know and if i want to leave my livelihood it's a, it's a huge decision it's not a small decision it's a huge yeah. decision for me uh thank you for those uh, for those updates and those words uh, and i just want to add i think my own reflection uh regarding what you just shared with us now i think i put something in the chat and i think this is about having skill in the game um i think for a lot of us maybe step up one is not a priority because it's maybe number 3 number 4 on our list um and i think pushing that up to number 1 i think can really help us in the next 12 months it can be a booster shot you know you hear the covid booster shot this can be a booster shot uh and i think yeah and i and i read a book recently by that name skin in the game and it really resonates with what you're saying yeah, yeah. no look uh, <clears throat> honestly um for me it is much more than that i always had skin in the game you know because this is my game you know i created this game so i had the highest skin high my whole body my skin my time you know i spent 6 hours every day on this one 6 hours every day for the last 3 hours 3 years even including weekends but i am telling even that is not enough even after doing all these hard work right i think i find myself not done enough so it is you know it's actually not even putting skin on the thing it is throwing yourself into the water and and swimming and either you cross the ocean or you sink and die so it's literally you know just throw yourself into the ocean you know no no boat waiting to you know um rescue you or no life lifeguard you know nothing just jump into the water and swim right because because you know i i cannot put up with this pain of you know slowly you know like it's like slowly baby walking you know i can't i can't do more any more baby walking we all need to run like a, our life depend on this i am going to start running i am not going to ask everybody you know to do the same because i don't know your situation but um, i can only talk for myself and i hope you will you know uh, do the same thing because at the end of the day uh, you know all of us are going to benefit you know the person who's going to run is going to run so high that uh, you don't know where he ran actually so i am super excited you know uh, i'm going to make this my life you know work um you know i have spent working 25 years you know so far 
so uh, i'm going to you know just come out of it and i'm going to start this you know doing doing this full time and uh, uh, i'm going to think like a like a business you know i have grown you know when i joined my company my previous company uh, we were like a thousand people when i joined my previous company in the year uh, 2000 uh, we were a thousand people company uh, today we are 300000 people yeah um it was it was a 100 million dollar business uh, when i joined today it is you know um, more than um, uh, 15 billion dollars of um, you know business so it's it's i know the game i know how to grow a business um, you know from millions of dollars to you know billions of dollars i know i have done it um, it's not it, it's not uh, but um but but to do this in the conditions that you guys are in is very different from the conditions that i was in you know uh, in the year 2000 like 21 years ago right uh, so the challenge is you know even more harder uh, to do the same thing um but uh, but but then you know we have to give it a big shot we have to give it a big shot i th- i think the time is right uh, we can get this done um i'll um, i'll 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 tell my so what are we going to do um but uh, i'll start with the first learning you know or the first experience that um, you know uh, and then you can also add what do you think right um so our job is really you know uh, let's think in really simple terms right we are just doing two things yeah on the left hand side we are educating people or training people or reskilling people whatever you want to call it yeah that is what we are doing on the left hand side and on the right hand side we are finding them jobs not just finding them jobs we are finding them jobs we are making them work we are helping them uh, you know during the work so it's not just simply find a job and ask them to go you know just you know do it themselves we are helping them till the very end you understand right so we are educating and finding the job so educating and um, you know uh, practical education and practical work so finding job and working on the job so both right so these are the only two things we do and we need to look at them separately you know we can't put them all together and mix everything and say you know it's all step up you know doesn't know so we have to do this very well you know uh, so what is this th- this thing left hand side is finding the people educating the people making them confident making them find their first job so that is the first thing and the second thing is you know making sure they get the job making sure they work on the job making sure they 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 keep the job you know they don't lose the job you know because they don't know what to do so both are very important now um i'll talk about this first you know this side which is uh, you know finding the job because i think that's really really important you know the finding the job now finding the job we we have asked nearly 100000 people 100000 people clients so far and and we've got 100 jobs so far so 100000 people has given us 100 jobs and we have asked them only through linkedin so far only through linkedin we have not asked them through anything else okay so 100000 people has given us just 100 jobs over a period of 3 years and we have only contacted them through linkedin we never called them by phone we never emailed them we never whatsapp them we just used linkedin only we did not use twitter we did not use facebook we only used linkedin and we spoke to them yeah now that is one job for every 1000 clients we have contacted 
one job for every thousand people it's it's pretty bad it's really bad one job for every thousand people that we have contacted so but so it's pretty bad so should we stop it is a question we 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 need to uh, you know ask ourselves so you know why are we doing this linkedin thing again and again and again you know if it is so bad should should we just stop it that's a question you know um, I, i i i like your um, you know uh, thought process on that so that's the first thing i want to put in in in, in front of you right um, forget about skilling people okay the left hand side just keep it keep it aside uh, for one minute okay we'll come to that part later because step up is two things skilling finding jobs skilling and finding jobs okay so we are only talking about the second thing finding jobs i am telling finding jobs by using linkedin is working painfully slow one for every thousand we need to find another way where we should find one job for every 100 client right that's the that's the thing we need you know um um in 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 you know um but it's all connected um so this is my biggest learning so far okay now that is one learning i i said i have two learnings okay so the first learning is we have been dependent on only linkedin to find our jobs so we have to be careful not to depend on just one thing for our existence we have to you know have many things for our existence that's the first learning the second learning is um i don't think you will you are you may be aware of this but uh, let me see if i can show you something okay so far we have um we have uh, you know that you, you remember the target audience i'm sure all of you know what is a target audience right we keep going to our client and say you know who's your target audience right so th- who who's step up dot one's target audience does can anybody tell me who we are targeting so far i think the ceos um who sorry who's that his ad um no uh, it's not only the ceos you know we we've, we've been you know let me just show you this okay because you yeah. probably don't know who we were targeting so far okay so you know who we were targeting we were targeting you know cities first okay so we I, i don't know whether you can see these uh, screen that i'm sharing it's a bit small but hopefully you can see this okay so uh, we started with you know playing around in congo you know when shem joined you know we started playing around with congo then we played around with um, you know um, uh, you know africa but when we really started the game we started with this geography united states san francisco you know look at this look at all these things united states san francisco all these clients are from united states san francisco can you see so pretty much all of these guys so this is our dashboard right all of these guys were united states san francisco across so many different uh, companies you know internet telecom entertainment accounting insurance medical devices you know all sorts of you know different different companies okay so we finished everything with san francisco already can you see all of these are san francisco i'm just going up so we started city by city by city so we finished everybody in san francisco can you see and then where did we go next can you see can somebody tell me where we went next i don't think you know many of you are even you know uh, it's impossible for you to take notice it's because it's very you know i don't tell this to you guys and probably you don't look at it for the last maybe one year you only worked on cl- contacting clients who are on san francisco and then in the last uh, one month you are working uh, or rather contacting uh, clients in new york city so can you see united states new york city right so one of the uh, thing i'm um, uh, doing is you know i'm going city by city by city and uh, i just realized 
that's a wrong strategy to go by city by city by city is a wrong strategy this is my second learning can anybody tell me why is it wrong or you know maybe you think you know it is the right strategy because i covered every single fellow you know in every single industry within san francisco you know it sounded like the best strategy you know you you go to everybody in every single industry you ask them and then you should get something happening right uh, and then i thought that is the right way to do but i was wrong uh can i can do you do you agree with me you know going city by city is the right way or wrong way what do you what do you think i hope you are able to see my screen and you know uh, what is your thinking i really think you know i i would like you guys also to talk you know jason joel bahana mohammed kasi i would like you your opinion we went city by city by city right we would have finished san francisco we've gone to new york city we've gone to chicago um, but that's wrong any thoughts um yeah if i can just provide and i know i'm taking up so much space i'm speaking all the time uh maybe it's because my network is good and i'm in nairobi so i apologize for that uh, but yeah i think for me for example um, i was sending uh, invitations to clients who were in new york for example um so they were all in a good location but what i've realized is that some of them when i look at their details you know they are not involved in this industry um they are not in the tech or they're not in you know so it was all over the place um and i think instead of going like you said by city maybe focusing on sectors and and you know people that can respond and understand what we're saying um cuz so far i've had very poor response um and and then the connection it's up, compared to what i'm sending it's uh, it's it's way below uh, you know the metrics that we are targeting yeah well, that's a very good observation uh, mohammed um, anyone else you know uh, i have so far put two observations okay please you know i would like all of you to talk you know um uh, one we have been riding on linkedin uh, you know the only horse we've been riding is linkedin second the only way we are targeting is city you know we go city by city by city right and i am saying both of them are wrong i would like you guys to tell me whether you agree or you disagree i've raised the hands maybe very fast mm-hmm. yes hello yes jamri we can hear you yeah to me i think uh, it, it wasn't wrong uh, because it it's always better to narrow the targeting but additional to that i think we can combine both so that we are specific uh, we uh, maybe even in future we cannot be confused where we have covered so combination of the city industry and uh, maybe positions this what i can maybe think so that we go one by one being specific narrowing the target yeah thanks jomari uh, patience bahana both of you came through yeah alani yes ba yes patience yeah first of all i like just to inform you that we are many at the sir right now yes i can see all of you actually yeah Yes hello. Yes Anish. Bahana we can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Yes, uh, good afternoon guys. Um uh, so I I think uh, I, I just want to contradict on one of your points. Huh? Uh maybe not contradicting but um you know I don't think as you said huh? our LinkedIn strategy was wrong. It's just not working as expected but it's not wrong. because uh, if it was wrong then we are doing the wrong things even for our client so we are contradicting ourselves huh? so uh, linkedin is not wrong it's just that um, it's not working as uh, expected and um, you know we are just not getting the result as we want but it's not the wrong strategy because if the wrong strategy then we need to revise i mean the whole uh, you know uh, what you are selling out there so which means it's also not correct yeah <laughs> Uh, that's my first thinking no no um, stop it stop it stop your thinking 
Yes. I, I think second. I think, no, no, no. Wait, wait, Bahana. Just wait, wait. Yes. I, I, I want to. I want to listen to other people. Just stop there. I think that's a brilliant uh, thing, right? If it was, if connecting and trying to do business through LinkedIn was wrong, was wrong as a strategy. We shouldn't be selling something wrong to our clients, isn't it? We should stop step up that one right now and try to go find out something you know the correct way to do things, right? So uh, Bahana is spot on. LinkedIn is not a wrong strategy. It is simply not not yet working for us. It is not yet working for us, and we know why it is not working for us as well. Okay, uh, so I fully agree with Bahana. You know, it is the it is the uh it is it is it is not even the right strategy it is the strategy of the future for millions and millions of companies and people okay so it is not you know even the right strategy for today it is the perfect strategy for millions of companies and millions of people in the future right sorry bahana i i i didn't want to cut you uh, but this is a very important point you said and i thought i will you know add to that point can you please come back bahana yes uh no i, I just wanted to you know to highlight that because uh, you know it's very important that uh, we, we come up with uh, um you know uh, additional strategies to make sure because our main objective is to get more clients I just want to call, I mean, to make sure that, uh, we, you know, that's not put in our mind that the LinkedIn strategy is, is wrong. It's just not working as expected. So we need to add additional, you know, strategies. And uh, one of them is the email outreach that you've just mentioned. Um, on the second, um, again, in terms of observation um, on the LinkedIn outreach, I also did the same. Huh? Uh, I think if I remember when I started with the Kenyan list, I sent out uh, more than, uh, I think, close to 3,000, you know, invitations, um, requests. But uh, if you look at the, you know, the return in terms of, uh, you know, um, I actually did not get any job from those, uh, you know, those clients. But one thing I found uh, that um, uh, close to 40% of those, uh, those um, you know, potential clients their LinkedIn account were not, some of them were not even active. Some were having, you know, sometimes even less a hundred, you know, uh, connections and all these things. So, and um, I think uh, it's also was another challenge. In terms of um, the city strategy, I actually uh, don't have any, you know, observation. I can't tell whether it's a wrong or, you know, good strategy. Um, I leave that to other colleagues to, you know, to comment. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Bahana. Perfect points. Uh, yeah, patience, please. Yeah, you know, first of all, I just to inform you. Do you hear me? Very well. Yeah, so now we are at the we are almost 17 people, but we are projecting on screen. Yeah, uh, can, so, can you, hear, sorry, uh, uh, um, uh, patience. patience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yes. Uh, can you hear us, you know, when you're 17 people, it is not easy to hear what I'm saying, isn't it? Yeah, we get you well. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. That's, so on my side, yeah, on my side, I see there's no problem, you know, just to reach in every city in the USA, because in USA is a, is a big countries. And if just you are going just to reach in one city, another one, it's, it's for us just to know where we have left behind. Maybe there's other companies that we didn't reach them. But if you go sit by seat, it be easy for us, you know, just to, to know that we have finished USA. But if we go to USA without just go sit by Siri, it means that there's some companies that we can leave behind. You know, this is what I have to say about this. Thank you. Thank you. So um, <clears throat> now um, I'll tell you why I chose the city. Okay. Please, you know, at any point in time, interrupt me. Don't wait for me to stop talking. Okay. Just interrupt me. It's okay to interrupt me, right? You shouldn't interrupt people in their meetings, but it's okay to interrupt me. Yeah. So please interrupt me. Um, Kisha, just one minute. Um, I'll give the, uh, you know, mic to you. Uh, so why did I choose LinkedIn? Let me tell you why I chose LinkedIn. You know, LinkedIn 
has been the best thing that has happened to me as a person in 25 years of my job i was able to do miraculous things in my day job using linkedin that's why i recommended that to all of you what worked for me i wanted to see if it will work for all of you okay that's the first thing number 1 and like bahana said it is working amazingly well for many and most of our clients so we are not going to you know give up on that strategy it is an amazing strategy it is still not working for us as a company yeah so remember that second thing why did i choose to go city by city as a small startup is it a right strategy so i thought i thought i don't know which industry is going to respond to us you know will the telecommunication industry respond to us better will the retail industry you know or the lawyers or the doctors or the um you know the it people or uh, who will respond you know who will give us more jobs i did not know that you know clearly so i thought let me take one city like san francisco and let me go to all the doctors all the lawyers all the telecom people all the retail people all the it people you know all the architects let me go to every single you know industry one by one and let me basically find out you know who needs our services most so i took the city by city approach and i cleaned i you know trust me 150000 people in san francisco we have cleaned them there is nobody left in the city of san francisco right is a lot of executives 150000 executives right um so i had to choose that strategy to understand you know where are we getting the results from right so so if i um step back now and look at the results that we are got and then uh, also you know uh, i i i did an analysis of all the clients that are working with us right why are they working with us where is the maximum number of jobs right uh, i was able to find some very interesting you know pattern you know a pattern where the big clients are there okay and i'll tell you what that pattern is uh, but uh, but just before i you know continue i want to ask uh, other people also Uh, any thoughts finally kisha you can come and you know tell me your thoughts or shem uh, you can joel you can also tell us kenya um, because it's important right all of you have been working so hard for 3 years and suddenly i come back and say you know we need to do something else as well yeah so let me listen to kisha hi kisha yeah hi anis <laughs> yeah um maybe a bit on uh, uh a contribution or not has is been said uh the linkedin uh, like uh, what uh, bahana mentioned about it uh, it is the matter with us is uh, uh where we stand because uh, I, i i think we you'll agree with with me that uh, 100% or 90% of the work that we have it comes through your eyes uh, not uh, through us and then uh, the matter uh, this is strategy of linkedin uh, will continue to work through our and uh, will continue to work uh, for our clients uh, because uh, i can remember uh, when we worked with the jamari uh, for id success uh, break was not uh, that much standing out and then uh, uh, the the campaign went like uh, there was no result but with the other with the other companies the, it is bringing a very good results so it is a matter of where we stand and that's what uh, determines the result of it absolutely that's- absolutely isha perfectly said right so what we've understood also is this that is also the, it is working amazingly well you know just to give you an example um i uh, for for friar okay uh, we were having some three four people you know for friar um, you know which is an it it services company and i told the chief executive of friar uh, you know this is not really you know uh, producing results you know the linkedin campaign and he told me 
uh, you know maybe it is not giving us money okay or rather money as in like you know jobs in our case it is jobs but it is giving us connections and these connections are worth their weight in gold that's what he told me so please don't think about stopping the work in fact increase the work and then we went from four people to seven people and now we are talking about from seven to you know almost 100 people so just one company we are talking to them to give us 100 jobs and i noticed why is that case you know um if i take one more uh, thing uh, like uh, this uh, company that pascal was working for you know a uk coaching company he worked with us for 6 months and then he stopped and we don't even know whether what is wrong with you know whether pascal did something wrong or you know he did something i we don't know what we are realizing is um all these companies with just one person you know one person some coach some tax advisor all these people throughout their lifetime they can give us only one job are you understanding me so we are working with a lot of these people even today but the maximum number of jobs that that person can give is only one okay whereas let's say a company like fryer started with one they gave two then gave four then they are at seven and they are talking to us to increase the number of jobs to 100 so i am really sitting here and thinking oh my god you know we should stop wasting our time with these people who will only give us one job you understand what i'm saying guys this is really important what i'm saying right even though fryer also gave us only one job but from one job to a hundred job they are able to you know because they see the result of what that one job is doing and they are able to you know just increase the number of jobs that they are able to give us i hope you are able to understand that right so i decided that you know we are we are wasting a lot of our time on a huge number of people uh, in huge number of industries instead you know what we are going to do is this uh, let, i'm just going to so this is the you know um, okay first um, let me uh, let me start with the first one okay i i told you two learnings right do we have a third learning the first learning is we should not be reliant on only linkedin we must find one more channel one more channel okay that's that's the first learning the second learning is we should not talk to every single person in a city rather we should find out who is the perfect audience who is the perfect buyer of our services okay not you know i am defining the perfect buyer as somebody who will give us at least 100 jobs at least 100 jobs that's a perfect buyer not one not two not three at least 100 yeah so instead of focusing on every tax advisor every coach every small guy in the city we want to see if we can focus on large number of jobs from one single client okay so that's the second learning i wanted to just stop here and ask you do you have any such ideas or learnings that we should because we are talking about you know everything that we have done and what is right with that and what is wrong with that you know see one see one thing is all of you have become seriously good experts in linkedin okay so let's not uh, you know take away that okay so you have become you know really good experts uh, but is there anything else is there a third one that i have missed out is there a third learning and remember we are still talking about you know finding jobs we are not talking about reskilling there are so many learnings to do in reskilling is there any other learning hello yes abaka 
Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Abakar Kaltu. Yes. And I have a question for you. Go ahead. Um, you we are we are using um LinkedIn to find jobs, and I would like to know why are we using only LinkedIn? It's a good question. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question, and uh, we will you will find your answer today, hopefully. Hi, Anis. Yes. Um, I I, I, I hope have... you had me. Um, so, uh, Abakar, uh, we we were only using LinkedIn because uh, that was the only um, uh, you know, let's say legal way to uh, you know find jobs uh, when the time we started, uh, and now we are exploring other ways, right? But if you have other ideas uh, to find jobs, please do let me know. You do you have any other ideas, Abakar? Like what what else should we be using other than LinkedIn? Um, yeah, Isra, just give Abakar um, a few more minutes. I, um, I personally have come to know uh, LinkedIn very recently, that it's a platform where I can use to get a job. So I think in as much as we are targeting um, uh, these big companies and uh that are offering jobs i think there are those small small companies which are not using linkedin so i think we should not just consider um linkedin to target these big big companies so we can use other platforms like uh like what um um like facebook um the instagram i think um I, you know, those other social media uh, platforms, which uh, many companies are using to advertise their um, work. So instead of relying only on this one, I think we should um, expand our ways. Very good. Excellent. We will do that, uh, Abakar. It has taken us three years to realize that we should not be doing only LinkedIn. Uh, I hope, you know, <laughs> it will not take us another three years to realize that, you know, uh, email is we, email is not the only thing we should use, you know, uh, other things also. Uh, just Bahana, one minute. Bahana. Hi, Anis. Yeah. Bahana and Idi, can you just hold on for one minute? Uh, Isra, can you go ahead? Okay, Anis, uh, I would like to just add on what Kaltum was saying. The other day, one of the clients asked me that... Uh, they do freelancing, uh, app work, and all these things to to give uh, jobs to the freelancers. So he asked me a question: How is he going to to benefit from the step up, and what type of the services that is being done? So, like, should we be able to also uh, involve our graduates in the, in freelancing and? app work or we should just be focusing on linkedin and sending connections to the clients yeah yeah uh, yeah that's a very good question in fact uh, uh, we already have a, a fully working uh, you know uh, setup in upwork.com um, where all of you can come in and get onboarded and start you know also doing freelancing work but um it is uh, it is something that uh, we will start maybe you know three months down the line. Okay, uh, I I it, there is a lot of thing that needs to be you know set up for that in order to. I've already set it up uh, in Upwork, uh, so we should be able to you know get started maybe in three months time. Not only in Upwork, but I'm thinking of Upwork.com, Fiverr.com, uh, and all other uh, you know job platforms that are available uh, across the globe. So we will get everywhere. So no worries about that. Um, but remember, what is our core? Okay, our core is, you know, doing the seven things, the seven steps: social selling, social marketing, social research. That is our core. That core is what is going to get us to, you know, some serious money and serious wealth. Everything else is secondary. So remember that. Um, but 
just because it is secondary we are not going to you know leave that away i hope you are able to see my screen so uh, kalthum said facebook instagram um and uh, twitter we should not let them also go waste okay so i i put that and you say new job uh, portals like um, upwork.com fiverr.com um you know monster.com indeed.com they're all you know top job boards and you know we should try to get jobs from all those places as well yeah uh, thank you isra i have taken note of all those things uh, next is uh, yeah mohammed hasan uh uh yeah um so i have uh, a quick input uh, it, it's kind of a question it sounds very basic but one thing i've i've learned uh, in my journey is that you know no question is too stupid or too crazy um so let me ask so the thing i was asking myself now um is that uh, does step up one do we employ refugees do we give job do we give job to refugees um so are we an employing company and the answer that i came up with is no we don't give jobs to people um so the second question i asked myself is are we a job placing company do we place you know qualified and suitable refugees in open positions and and that second question sounded like yes um so so i think me if, as we talk about new avenues in how we can do things more differently i think also establishing our core identity and refining our purpose is is uh, is also uh, critical and what i would like to add is um would it be possible in the near future for a step up to make things more simple and more easier instead of having every new graduate telling them to go and hunt and do all of these things on 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 linkedin would it be possible for us to make promises or you know to provide solutions like saying maybe we are a job placement company or we provide three months internship and after three months with us uh you know you get a job uh, you you work with us um at step up one can we give jobs to people can we make a, a promise of you know placing people in jobs because i feel like with the current step up that we have it might be difficult for us to scale up and for, for us to provide opportunities i've had a couple of people who are graduates in the whatsapp groups who've left the groups and have reached out when i followed up with them asking them why are you leaving the groups one of the things they talk about is this illusion they're not satisfied with what they see inside the groups and i think right now we are we're having a core team of 10 or 5 or 15 people like mohammed and bari and others who are really leading this but i think we always have to look at the weakest chain you know the people who are really you know vulnerable within the groups does that make sense to them uh and how can we make make it sen- make it make sense for people for people like you know for these new people who are coming into the groups the new people who are joining i think there's a lack of of clarity in our message to our own people that we are recruiting um so that's that's something i wanted uh, to share with you uh anas if we can make things more clear for them uh and then looking outside looking at new avenues i i would really like us to step up and really make be a be in a position to employ refugees whether we have 10 people 15 people who you know reach out to clients uh, and and then you know we apply for jobs we and and we we and then we give those jo- jobs to new graduates but i think that there should be some kind of a pipeline that you come in through step up step 1 and by step 10 you already have uh, some kind of job whether it's 50 dollars or 100 dollars so for me i think just tweaking those details a little bit would be helpful um, and i hope that makes sense anas yeah no mohammed i think very good points uh, you know honestly let me respond to them very quickly so um, in terms of uh, whether we are a job placement or a job provider so mohammed we are actually a job provider we are not a placement okay you know if you uh, go to a placement um, like monster is a placement company uh, upwork is a placement company okay what the placement people do they simply you know allow you to uh, connect the two uh, the employer and the employee to connect with each other they don't really help you do the job okay and they also don't pay you you know the person who pay you is the actual company that hired you okay so monster.com no don't play pay you or indeed.com will never pay you number one okay um 
we are closer to you know um uh you know finding the job and also you know making sure the payment is done so we are closer to upwork.com and fiverr.com so if you work in upwork the money uh, that comes to your bank account comes from upwork it doesn't come from the client so it is similar to so step up dot one is very similar to what upwork.com is you know trying to do the only biggest difference is upwork.com you know does not try to uh, you know train you they do not try to you know um, find you the job they do not um, help you you know uh, working on the job after you so i am not sure you, we can actually in fact if we can make a comparison matrix of what we do and what other people do and you will be really surprised that we are doing way too many things that we should not be doing for example we find a job after that why are we helping the people to you know nobody you know if you uh, nobody does this nobody will help you execute the job i mean i can't think of any company in the world right which will help you with you know doing the job they will help you in finding the job but nobody will help you you know do the job so we are slightly you know uh, different from many things but we are not a job placement agency nor we are just a job provider we are much more than that we are somewhere in between upwork.com and a full time company so somewhere in between because only in a full time company you know they will also teach you they will also help you they will do everything right so we are somewhere in between number second uh, i think the second point you made you know i i will take that it is it is a it is it is a decision i took i want to see how many new people who can join and i don't want them to be helped by anybody you know i don't want to handhold them i don't want them to feel supported i wanted to approach this in a 100% digital way 100% because i wanted to find a way to you know do this with you know uh, not with 10 people 20 people i want to do this with thousands and thousands and thousands of people right so i wanted you know to check how it worked and in honestly it has worked brilliantly for every like you said for every 10 people who have left us there are more than 250 people who have joined us right i i fully agree that i should have helped the 200 people more i want to help them now i want to help them but in the for the initial 3 4 months i didn't want to help them i didn't want them to have a team leader i wanted them to struggle and in fact that struggle is a very good litmus test it's a very good litmus test whether they are willing to struggle they are willing to learn they are willing to apply right so i understand the you know the 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 weakest of the weakest are going to fall through and they did fell through and i was and honestly i have been talking to every single person who have fallen through i i make it a point to go to them and ask them what was the real problem right and honestly uh, i will change this but it is an experiment i did so that i i really think you know we are big enough right now we are big enough to uh, make sure that every single graduate gets a team leader to support them and hold their hands and walk them through the journey but i didn't want to do them uh, that in the first place um and something i'll reconsider uh, doing it uh, uh, mohammed uh, yeah uh, jason and the 17 other people joining from sir do you do you do you have a question Uh, hello, um, I'm Kurt Moses. Hello, everyone. Yes, Moses. Uh, there are some. Yes, please. Uh, there are uh, regarding to some uh, some remarks before about um, uh, on marketing, social media marketing. Uh, what I could say is that uh, we are using LinkedIn, and uh, in most cases, if we can be also using uh, uh, email marketing, can be an approachable tactic. Because, for instance, uh, it is very crucial for uh, even official for the companies, uh, even um, uh, official people, whereby every they schedule every beginning of the work, they do always check on the emails often, uh, than checking on the LinkedIn accounts. Because uh, in most in most cases, whenever someone is beginning the job or even crossing the day, has to check on the email. So it could be a uh, good uh, criteria for us if we are uh, approaching even them. 
via their emails. Because even then we find that most of the people, they take le uh, less time to check on their LinkedIn uh, profiles, uh, li uh, LinkedIn yeah. accounts uh, well, that, than the emails. Moses, uh, Moses, I take your point. Uh, you know, we want to do this. Uh, we want to increase our marketing. We want to use, you know, not just LinkedIn, but we also wanted to use Facebook, you know. But the problem is, you know, uh, we set up even a social media marketing team uh, and it is not working. Unfortunately, we tried to do this many times. It's not working. Uh, it has not worked. So I want to see, uh, it's not worked only because, you know, people are not committed to doing this, right? Um, I need to find another way to make people committed to do social media marketing. Just because um, our volunteers are not really delivering their promise, uh, that doesn't mean the idea itself is bad. This idea is very good. We have to do it. It is just that the people who agree to do this are not able to do this sustainably, unfortunately. So we need to find out a way. And I have an idea to do this better. Anything else? Uh, so, so. Hi, Anis. Uh, also, uh, can you just hold on also, for one minute? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, also, it's uh, about like uh, the system that we have been using to target an, a state by a state is that we are working remotely. So if we are working remotely, we have to be targeting uh, 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 all over the all over the, the world so long as we can realize that these are the potential clients. And also the targeted clients we could be looking at, uh, we can look at the social enterprises, we can look at uh, the uh, manufacturing companies because these are the businesses who need to promote, who need to market, uh, their services or even their pro, uh, products. Because uh, that one could be um, um, an, a quick approach or the strategies ca can help us to be structural in the jobs. Sure. So then uh, also re uh, an another like, like an quiz which I would like to ask you because even I must say, uh, I've noted um, with the, the team, uh, the 10 members to join, they are very willing who are there and uh, even they like what step up is doing. But the only challenge question that comes on the table is that how long can someone be able to take an, uh, to have an, a job? Or either even I myself, they do ask me that, how long have you been in a step up and have you really got the job successfully? So that like, uh, we can be able, uh, so that we can able to get that uh, courage, that guitar. And, uh, However, I do tell them the most important thing is, uh, is acquiring the skills. But then the, the concept about the step up is that joining the step up, then I'll get the job, how long will I take the job so that we can have an, a, a self development, developing the skills and also having um, a self uh, sustainability. So actually that's why you find that uh, there are many who are willing to join, uh, who are willing to, to be under my team, but those are the, some of the crucial questions that they put for me. So thank you very much for clarification. Sure. Thank you, Moses. These are very, very important points. Um, I think I will uh, address them uh, uh, one by one. You know, um, um, let me let me give them uh, space. You know, can you guys be a little bit more quicker, Samuel and Kasi? You know, let's start with Samuel. Um, then we'll go to ED and then we'll go to Kasi. Samuel, over to you. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you so much for giving me the floor. I hope uh, all the inputs that uh, other colleagues have raised up are so important. And uh, But me on my side, I could like to request if uh, it will be possible, the way Muhammad have said, if it will be possible, maybe we see how we can uh, not only uh, rescue uh, refugees, but also to look for them the job opportunities. And uh, as, as you have said, like, if you can create a platform whereby those uh, potential clients can be posting their uh, can be posting the available works, so that all of us maybe we can uh, we can compete for we can compete for those jobs beyond the jobs that maybe step up can assign anyone or from uh, apart from this uh, jobs that everyone can get by his own way. So I could like if we can create because already we have. Uh, uh, freelancers already we have marketers already we have people who can work then the potential clients also should show their interest because what i've realized most of these potential clients maybe they don't have any agreement to step up so far 
they don't have any agreement with st uh, step up reason why sometimes you, you write him uh, him or her, uh, an email and what will, she will answer is no thanks not interested and so on so but if she was uh, he or she was or has already that uh, job and he, he, won't, he is looking for someone who can do that job so she can post so that us we can compete in if possible we can compete but also if he or she is targeting someone can talk to that person directly and also another input should be like um, I, I try to uh, go through the messages the first and the second message i realize that uh, still we are using the refugee status to convince the to convince the clients which in social marketing is somehow wrong i remember uh, because Eid, Eid yusuf is my mentor when it comes to up work and growth bond uh, online marketing he used to tell us that when you are doing online marketing think beyond a refugee so what i wish is we have some uh, potentials we have some skill already which doesn't determine us as a refugees we can work uh, without saying that we are refugees so i wish that if these messages can be also rectified to show that we have potential not only to show that we are refugees and we are seeking for jobs and so on so because uh, this person maybe might only feel pity to give us a job, but he or she might also think that we don't deserve it. But because he's a humanitarian, he gives us a job while we deserve the job. So that was only my input. Thank you. Uh, this is a phenomenal input, Samuel. Uh, exactly. I, want to, I want to just you know, post on this input. I want to hear more people. Uh, see, from where I sit, okay, I see it as a hero. You know, I almost see it as a, a heroic effort. Today, you know, hundreds of people approach me, okay, telling me they are going to do, you know, some amazing things in social media marketing and social selling. So many people approach me, you know, to help me in that thing. Um, I simply ignore all of them. Okay. But when I see you know, one of us, one of you approaching, I feel that, wow, how is this possible? You know, this person is telling me or doing things that a professional organization is doing, even under the conditions that, you know, he's, I see that as a huge differentiator. Especially when you are not asking for some donation, or you're not asking for charity, or you're asking for pity. You're not asking anybody for any pity. You are giving them the most professional way and then demanding whether you want it or not. You're not, you're not, um, you know, in my view, it is a huge advantage, but you are not using that only advantage. You know, if you went and said, you know, I'm a refugee, I, you know, live in difficult conditions, I need help, then it is bad. But if you said, I'm a refugee, I don't need your help. Here is the professional, you know, work that I can do for you. You know, let me know if I can work for you. That's a very different uh, message, you know, but I want to pause here. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Okay. You know, I want to be corrected on this. I want to pause here. I, I want to take other people's opinion. I know ED and... Um, uh, Kasi, you guys wanted to say, but please stop here, you know, uh, stop here for one minute. I really want to know your opinion about what Samuel said. It's a very important point for me. What, what does the other thing, you know, we, we don't want to beg that I'm a refugee. No, we want to appear professional, which is why we are clicking professional photographs. We are updating our LinkedIn to look like professionals. Our work is professional. The tools that we are using are professional. Right, the work that we are doing and delivering is extremely professional, extremely important, and we charge a very little money for that. Very little money, right? So, despite you know, I want to, I want all this we are doing despite where we are stuck in our life. So it's it's really you know it's a heroic effort rather than a poor. Um, you know, I, that's how I feel, but I want to hear more, more, more people, you know, tell me whether who's, who's, um, you know, what do they think?
I, I don't know, you are waiting for the contribution from uh, the previous speaker? Yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting if anybody or I can, can go ahead with what I wanted to say, which is which. No, no, please wait for, uh, you know, uh, other people to tell what they okay. think about Samuel, because Samuel's point Thank is you. really important. Yeah. Um, if I can just add to that, uh, just to give my, my very quick input regarding what Samuel said, um, I, I think there, there's a misconception. Being a refugee, I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's, it's a circumstance. It's something you are facing in your life. Um, and we are not begging, we are offering our services, our skills, we are competing for jobs. So, you know, me, Mohammed, you know, everywhere I go, I'm really against begging and all of that. And I have made that clear to people as a community leader and also as, as in my own life. I, I don't like that uh, attitude of, you know, UNHCR taking you somewhere, asking, begging, no. But the reason I, I like what you are doing and I support what you are doing here at Step Up is because we're giving dignity back to people. Um, and coming back to Samuel, if we if we put the the word refugee or if we put the refugee experience in our outreach, that does not necessarily uh, you know take away from what we are doing. Um, for example, uh, yes, you, you are you, you are not denying that you are in a refugee camp. You are not denying that you know you are not in your own country. This is the card that you have been dealt in life, and what you are trying to do is to make the best out of a, a very bad situation. Um, so I hear where you're coming from, um, but I, I, uh, from my own experience, I think uh, what we are doing here is dignified, and I think, um, and, and, I, and I really support the message that we have now. Um, yeah, definitely. If I can just make a very quick comparison, if you look at the news now, what you hear is something called, for example, you hear Black Lives Matter and all of these other things that are going on in this world. So if this this is a black person and he's getting uh, you know he's getting opportunities for example because he has been in slavery he has faced a lot of problems for 400 years in the US and and now things are being done to change that it's not a bad thing you cannot say because you know you are black you remove don't say black lives because you know you are black you are begging no we are bringing you know this to the to the forefront we are putting our identity in the driving seat and that is how the world works um, at the moment yeah, thank you. Thanks, Mohammed. I want to be really quick because, you know, we uh, are really running short of time. I really want to make this uh, learning. So we have got learning. I want to talk about, so what we are going to do about those learnings? You know, are we going to just simply say we've learned and then do nothing? Right. So I really want everybody to be fast. So Samuel, you have anything to add? Uh, next, ED, uh, be ready to go. Um, hello, I have uh, something to put across. Yes, Kaltum. Um, as much as uh, we are uh, talking about the employees thinking that we are refugees and so on, um, even if I was the uh, employee, I will be thinking if I am to give you a job and the fact that you are a refugee or not, does that matter? But will you be able to um, give me the best results that I will be uh, requiring? So even if I were the one to give you the, uh, to offer the job, I will need to make sure that what I'm giving you, you will do it to your best and give me the best results possible. So I think um, for us, we need um, uh, more trainings and uh, um, those people whom um, we have already, uh, who have already given us a job, I think we need to use them also um to password um they can also refer us to other companies and we can also um i don't think it is bad um to request them um to reach to us even if they need us in the future absolutely and, uh, Kaltum, very good points very good points so i've taken notes on all your points uh mm -hmm. do two points you made we need to make sure our clients clearly know that they are giving us jobs because we are going to deliver results, not yes. because we are refugees. Yes, we, uh, we, need to, um, we, mean, we need to assure them that we are competent enough uh, to, do the, uh, to deliver the best results. Agreed. Mm -hmm. And second point is we need to ask every single client who has been working with us to, yep. uh, to, to, to refer us to all of their uh, colleagues or their companies. Okay, uh, Idi, next turn, you. 
Thank you very much. It has been long for waiting for this opportunity. Now, I want to touch on two important points here. Uh, generally, we are looking at increasing jobs and, uh, and that's all at the moment. And first of all, LinkedIn uh, is the platform you're using. And uh, generally, we are looking at lead generation. LinkedIn, I mean, is just one of the lead generation tool um, we are using to find our contact and then send them the message. But uh, we have other tools like uh, Optimista, Hello Bar, and uh, you, you know them, you can check them. Uh, why not try these other tools? Uh, because we can check like, is it LinkedIn, is it the only tool that is performing well in terms of lead generation? That's the question I can ask. And uh, number two, uh, you just said we've currently contacted like uh, 100,000 um, customers, if I may call them, and uh, we only have 100 jobs. Let's not forget 100,000 contacts that we've made, but let's now focus into 100 jobs that we have. What specification or what features do they share in common that we can concentrate into them in terms of uh, the country that we've targeted, the city, or the who from the list of those 100 clients, uh, who are able to give us like 100 jobs like Frey, if in case that comes, uh, let's try and look into those aspects. And then I'm sure with those 100 jobs, that data will help us understand where we are heading. Thank you very much. Yeah, very good points, very good points. I take those points. Uh, why only, you know, uh, our entire thing is revolving around not just LinkedIn. Um, uh, it is it is the one that is really being successful. So we say we can do job on LinkedIn. We can we say we can do it on Twitter. We can do it on uh, Instagram. We can do it on, um, you know, uh, Twitter. So we say that we can support all these four uh, on Facebook, five. Um, so uh, we can uh, we can keep adding to this list. But I already believe that we have enough to go and capture the market and do some big things. And you know, we it's important to be successful in the in the one thing that we do very well. You know, before you keep um, you know adding things in concentric circles, right? Uh, so I hear you, Eddie. Uh, why shouldn't we add other things? You you as an individual can go and do all those things as well uh, and win more clients. Uh, you know, as a part of Step Up itself. But as a group, we should focus on. Um, one thing uh, in in a big way and and make it a huge success uh, and then we can always you know like uh, just to give you an example i i know you all know amazon.com right uh, the world's largest company you know which is selling everything but when they started do you know how many products they sold does anybody know in 1993 when amazon started what was the product they sold just books right only books. They only sold books. But did you know in, in in from the time they started, within three months of them starting a bookstore, an online bookstore, they became the world's largest bookstore. Within three months. They did not touch an, another product for nearly one or two years until they became, they dominated the book ma market like there is no tomorrow. So it's very, very important to start in a very concentrated uh, field and become the biggest in that field, right? Which is what is very important. This monologue is very important as to, as to my second um, thing, right? Um, so uh, is there any, any you know, I want to, I'm, I'm really desperate now to tell you my solution, but a lot of people have raised hands and I want to listen to you also. Uh, Samuel, you still have your hand raised. Do you want to tell anything more? Mohammed Abdukader, you want to go? Would no. you mind touching on the 100 clients' features? What specification would we like consider into getting specific information that might help us even tomorrow when we are targeting clients? Yes, we I'm going to, targeting Edie, I'm right going to talk about that. Edie, I'm going to talk about that. Who are those people? Who are those people who are capable of giving, giving us 100 jobs? When we start, they will all give us one or one job, two jobs, three jobs. But when they see results from us, they start to give us up to 100 jobs or even more, 1,000, right? 
i i'm going to tell you about those clients which is my solution you know that's what i wanted to talk about today yes abdul kader uh hello anish uh, i agree uh, what mohammed he said and uh, my suggestion is uh, is three things that we can use uh one is a uh, linkedin platform and uh, one is uh, email another one is uh, twitter those are the professional platform but uh, facebook and tiktok and uh, instagram are not uh, make sense so fully uh, agree i think the other i fully agree with you Uh, you know yeah. professional professional job searching only twitter and linkedin the others is, the, the others is only for marketing we will not use them for you know um, yeah agreed yeah for the sake of the manners i think you can come in with your ideas and then we can react at the end of the meeting sure um yeah just give me one second uh, let me throw change this to Okay, so this is what I am thinking. Okay, guys, um, just like Amazon dot com focused on bookstores, only books. Before they went into diapers, before they went into you know electronic items, you know, um, when when eBay dot com started, uh, you know, they did not uh, uh, you know do an auction for. Uh, industrial equipments or shoes any, or anything that has come out they they did auction for you know rare rare coins rare um, you know sports memorabilia so they only did rare things when they started you know ebay same with you know uh, amazon so what we want to do is to find out who is the customer who is willing to give us you know lots of jobs you know so even though we break through that person only once okay Uh, we are able to get many many more okay so in my uh, you know uh, learning so far uh, so this is actions you know we are we have finished learning now we want to act on our learning okay so the first thing i'm going to do is basically the biggest learning is not even you know whether linkedin is the right thing or not okay the biggest learning is who are we talking to are they the right people that's the biggest learning so what i have done is this just like amazon.com focused on books we are going to focus on you know one industry and within that one industry just one company okay i'll tell you what i'll tell you this uh, where i'm coming so if you look at um, uh, let me show you the um, the things okay so you, i uh, people can you all go on mute i think somebody is in a nice uh, place where a lot of nice sounds are coming samuel can i put you on mute yeah thanks okay so we focused on city so instead of focusing on a city now what we are going to do is we are going to focus on just one industry okay i hope you can see my screen it's a slightly you know uh, we are going to focus on just it services uh, where there are more than 140000 uh, clients okay uh, across the globe it services um and within it services if you look at it i want to focus on only these 63 companies why am i want to focus on these 63 companies let's take ibm as an example okay ibm has 5500 people in their sales department globally and even if we break into one of them if we break into one of these ibms 5500 people then we should be able to cross sell upsell into the other people by saying look i am already working with three of your colleagues etc 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 right um and if ibm one if the ibm top guy you know a uh, comes to know that we are really doing a very good job for you know five of their people then we can say look we are doing for five people um, in ibm can we um, do it for all your 5500 people that's a good conversation to have right uh, so basically uh, <laughs> what is uh, miss miss fadi i think you need to stop drawing diagrams in my computer uh, okay so um uh 
let me just i don't know how to get rid of this okay hopefully people can people don't uh, mind this just give me one second yeah clear all drawings yeah thank you okay so i uh, you, you, what i have now done is i have taken one industry why did i take it services because in it services is where uh, there are many things that are happening so the likes of ibm oracle accenture dell microsoft all these guys they already have linkedin sales navigator licenses brought for all of their sales guys so it's a double whammy everybody have already a sales navigator license okay so just imagine um ibm ibm is spending 5.5 million dollars by paying linkedin license for all their you know sales navigator is it 5.5 million just give me one second 5 point, add 100 dollars so if you add to no it is not 5 it's uh, it's it's 550000 i think just give me one second let me just calculate if uh, ibm pays 100 dollars for each one of the sales navigator licenses yeah yeah it's not it's not a 5.5 it is um, it is 550000 dollars so um so ibm is currently paying almost half a million dollar to linkedin but they are not really using their sales navigator you know to do the actual job that you know because all of these guys are really not you know so we can become ibm's um you know partner uh, to help all their 5500 sales people to do a better job using linkedin same thing with oracle's 3500 accenture 3500 dell so what i'm doing is i'm going like really really small okay just like amazon only did books we are only going to do it services and we are going to also go company by company by company right earlier when i gave you contacts i would have given you you know one person from here one person from here one person from here but now i'm going to give all the 5500 people so within let's say like one week if all of you put your hands together in less than one week we can finish the whole of ibm okay and if we get just one person from ibm sign up we can go back to all the 5499 people saying that one of them have signed up with us you with me is this making sense is this clear yeah somehow <laughs> no it needs to be crystal clear you know somehow <laughs> somehow clear is not uh, good can i come in nanish yes please um yeah i think this is a golden idea but at, uh, at the same time it has got some um, you know um Hello. challenges eh? and w- one of, one of them uh, is uh, um we really need to uh, to have um, a strategy on uh, how do we put uh, this message in front of these uh, big uh, folks you know in the industries because you know some of these guys eh? they always feel like um, they already have the systems in place eh? they already have everything it requires for them to drive their marketing or their selling and all these things so we need to you know uh, maybe need to play around with our message thing you know um just to and that's why i, I think uh, responding to some of the comments uh, there is also a need even though we we don't want to put ourselves in front of our potential customers as vulnerable but we should not also forget that there is also an advantage yeah, when selling you know whatever product or whatever service you want to send Uh, from an emotional standpoint you know so it's very 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 important mm-hmm. and that uh, we we have got to our wire step up but at the same time um the no sorry, sorry bahana sorry bahana um so uh, very 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 important point i am already you know working on that so uh, so you know i'm already working on that because now we are trying to sell only to it services our uh, deck and our message has to you know say that we are already working with 50 it services um, you know uh, you know vice presidents and executive vice presidents and what kind of work we are doing how we have changed their life we need to go crazy and tell how we have made a huge difference to the it services market 
by doing this so everything right from our message our deck and our um, you know positioning will all be focused on it services only i just want to add my idea uh, on that huh? so i i know we, we we are not changing the strategy in terms of outreach but um considering the you know the, the size of these companies i was thinking on top of um, the graduate outreach could we have uh, another layer maybe some sort of um, Uh, let me call it executive outreach whereby you know maybe we could knock on an office ibm you know sales people office on a one on one or maybe an email from uh, anis to you know um let's say uk ibm office and uh, try to do some sort of awareness and maybe pitch to them you know on a different level um you know which is as you know we, we do this in parallel the, the outreach is going on we send us a uh, those 5000 ibm says people you know and also at the same time there is this uh, you know like uh, really going behind this uh, going crazy you know making sure that even though we don't um, get a breakthrough from the you know linkedin outreach but we, we've at least also done a, a physical code i mean maybe a code call you know it could be a code email or a call to ibm you know at a a more executive level just try to pitch to them and uh, see if we could close a meeting you know it's just you know ideas because uh, you know same time it's a new strategy uh, we also need to because at the beginning we also had a very good strategy that we believe was a good strategy i uh, just want to try to make sure that uh, we can attack this in different ways uh, so that we see if we can maximize you know, uh, some return uh, Yeah, yeah. Over. yeah no i'll do that i uh, i i think i take that point um uh, i will hit at the executives uh, telling them you know we can do it for all 5500 people and you do it see i was thinking of timing it properly um uh, bahana so the way is okay let's say today okay today i give you all these 5500 people working in ibm today okay in one week from today all the and i then uh, split this 5500 into all of you okay split this you know uh, into small and give it to all of you and one week from today you finish all the 5500 just in one week okay and then in let's say in two to three weeks we get one job not many one two jobs maximum okay once we have one job once we do something for that one job and you know move on i can write to the top 10 executives in ibm okay the 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 chief marketing officer or the chief sales officer of ibm in every country and then tell him look this is the service we provide this is what you are anyway doing and we can help ibm you know go crazy on the social and the social media selling uh, world by supporting each one of your 5500 i can do that but i want to time it i want first of all all 5500 people to be reached out okay in linkedin then i want all the 5500 people we need to email them all of them all 5500 people has to be so first we do it on linkedin then we email them all of them and then we go to the executives and tell them can we do it for your whole company yeah it's going to cost you 550 uh, thousand dollars per month per year no per month actually wow per month but it's going to change the game for you uh, so that is the executive pitch that i'm willing to do uh, you know uh, at the right time once we have at least one two three jobs going on with ibm and i will do the same thing with oracle accenture dell so basically we change our message we change our deck we change our target audience we we follow the method we go to uh, we we hit all 5500 people on linkedin then we hit all of them on, on on email then we hit their executives at the very top level using some of the you know either i can do it or you know you find people who can do it something like that uh, and then we hit them so this is the a new strategy that we can do but we are going to do by you know industry by con- by uh, the company right and samuel you know you, and ed you asked this question right 
can ibm give us 100 jobs no ibm can give us 5500 jobs oracle can give us 3500 jobs and i have identified and if you look at it i have ranked them like that so my own company can only give you very less some 600 or 700 that's why they are in the 18th place right and then keep going keep going keep going you know until some 64th company we are not going to stop here we are going to still go uh, you know uh, in another way uh, but I'll, i'll i'll pause here so first this is what we are going to do is this clear is the strategy clear to everybody samuel especially i want you to tell me is this new strategy clear to you because somewhat clear is not good it needs to be absolutely clear uh, yes anis yes. uh it is clear because already we have said that uh, you are going to if you go to well you are going first to reach the top 10 to introduce them what step up is doing i hope it it will work well instead of uh, going randomly if you go uh, specifically in this way let's try it's a bit of trial let's try if it will work better absolutely absolutely you know we are still going to go bottom up we are going to go to all 5500 people on ibm okay then go to the top 10 people we are not going to you know so we are going to win jobs then we are going to tell the top 10 people look we have won already 10 jobs look we are doing this amazing work for these 10 people would you like to would you like us to do it for all your 5500 people that's how we're going to do uh john bosco bahana you need to be really quick uh yeah john bosco john bosco we're not able to hear you no bahana would you like to go let uh, john bosco you know fix his mic yes uh, very quickly i just want to maybe to know more about the email marketing how are we going about it because uh, if, if i understand very well the list will be distributed among the graduates and um, are we sending this email from a central you know uh, entry point or are graduates you know sending emails to their respective people that have reached out on linkedin i uh, just wanted to understand that like so we we, we know the strategy like uh, if they the the potential client receive a message on linkedin from um, a graduate a now who send an email to that person is it the same graduate or it somebody the email comes from a, a different you know email or how do we go about it yeah that's a good question um i was uh, initially thinking and i really wanted your uh, opinion also um i was initially thinking that you know uh, i will ask you to do the emailing uh, but now i'm thinking you know it will add a lot of work uh, to your workload um so what i'm thinking is you know um so you know let's take ibm as an example okay um i'm thinking bahana uh, that um that you know we should uh, be able to um um we should be able to you know uh um you know do this centrally because i'm worried i'm worried that you know this will add extraordinary amount of um, you know more work to people uh, i am also you know thinking should i even ask you to collect the email you know because uh it's uh, i know it will be amazing if you can help us you know with collecting email um but again it adds more work to you you know um so let me show you um you know what i'm thinking please you know at any point in time stop me people everybody who's here in this call if you think you know there is a better way so i'm thinking um you know we are talking about sales right so let's say like take sales i told you there are 3500 people in sales i'm just took taking my own connections you know obviously i should remove this um you know to see all the ibm people who are in sales um and uh, you know uh, business development right uh, oh there's a lot of them actually like there are 37000 people in sales not 5500 uh, global vp of marketing whatever right now i'm thinking you know we'll not go to all the people we'll go to you know uh, the top people cxos 
uh, VPs and, you know, just the top people, right? Uh, so that's 6,000 people, right? Now I'm thinking, you know, um, let's say uh, uh, George Hammer, right? Um, if I go to George Hammer, um, right? Uh, uh, I'm sure, you know, he would not give his IBM email ID. Okay. So let's say I, I click on get email. Okay. I got the, um, I got this email, gehammer at us.ibm.com. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the next guy, this guy, Kwaja Sheikh. Open his thing. What I'm trying to do, uh, Bahana, I hope you're able to understand what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to see if there is a pattern, uh, is, if there is a pattern of, you know, look at this kshake at us.ibm.com. Uh, George Hammer. Oh no. Oh no. This is, this, um, this Gmail has come. Um, so it's basically, you know, K shake at us.ibm.com. So we can basically find out. Yeah. No, I, I think um, every company have an email button, like the way they use to create their emails for, you know, the, unless it changes by countries. But uh, like, for example, if you go with the um, UNSCR, they always use, let's say, fastname.unscr.com. So, you know, it becomes easy to identify, you know, just by their names. And uh, if we know how they do it, you know, in the IBM company, then it's, it's easier. But again, at the same time, there might be risk, you know, like uh, maybe you say it's a uh, uh, shark at IBM.com and uh, in another country, they are doing it differently. So you end up getting some bounce back and all these things. Yeah. Hmm. So that's why I was thinking we can, you know, manage that centrally instead of, you know, asking every single one of them to do it, you know, separately, right? Um, because it's, uh, it's going to be very, very, um, uh, you know, confusing and totally, uh, you know, um, that's what I was thinking, uh, Bahana, you know, to see if this would work. Um, we can even choose, you know, I don't know, uh, the, uh, the, the group leaders, you know, all the group leaders, and uh, we can do those emails, you know, from the uh, centrally from all the group leaders' email IDs, right? Uh, so that you know we are able to you know talk to all the five thousand five hundred people in a short period of time. So my this is how I'm thinking, um, you know, um, right now. Um, you no, know, maybe I'm not sure. You know whether everything I'm doing is right or wrong, but you know. Um, yeah, but this is what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, uh, John Bosco. Yes, I hope now I'm audible. Yes. Oh, yeah, I have two things I want to talk about. First of all, I would like to appreciate uh, all the ideas that um, have been shared in order to improve the research we are getting. So I want to talk about um, now our, our, our model of uh, working. Mm. Uh, since we started, we've been uh, trying to, uh, to approach big companies. People can maybe um, employ, um, can give us a job, but we try to target uh, middle or big companies. And it seems like uh, the way we price our services or the way we we ask for payment, it's based on a, a math basis. Um, uh, like, uh, you know that for social media marketing, we ask uh, $100 per month and for social media selling $200, things like that. And I have, to, I have a worries, like um, everyone here is working hard to make sure they can secure a job or at least if they get the first job, they can even get the second job and third job, things like that. 
And I'm worried like, I'm worried that maybe the payment uh, we ask on a monthly basis is not maybe fair, depending on the, the size of the companies we are approaching. Like if you ask a $400 to deliver for big results, uh, there is a psychological maybe um, uh, relation between uh, a low payment or a low price with a poor performance or poor result. And um, uh, if we cannot maybe do anything about that as a way, as we use it as a way of starting or just marketing our services to get known and to uh, like to enter the market and also look for many clients. Yeah, it's okay. But I worry a lot about maybe people have uh, one job, two jobs and who are looking forward maybe to increasing their uh, monthly payments and maybe they or they, they keep increasing the clients, they are working for up to five clients. Uh, maybe don't we think uh, there will be uh, that uh, risk of poor performance, which is uh, caused by the number of uh, tasks they have on their table due to uh, the big number of clients they are trying to manage work for things like that. And I was trying to imagine what if there was a way maybe to, um, to tell our clients to try us for a few months. And then when we see we are delivering the best result or we are helping them to grow, there is a way, uh, there is an approach we can maybe negotiate for uh, that. Or we can maybe base our payment on the result we deliver, things like that. So uh, it's not maybe something we can start now, but we, in the future, as we got more confident and we, um, we build a strong team, we can look for ways maybe to, to build um, uh, that approach of asking payment, depending on the result we're delivering. And my second point is- Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, one second. I mean, this is a very, very good point. Are you telling John Bosco that, you know, let us offer our clients, you know, try us out for free for one month. See if, 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 if the results uh, actually come um, and if the results come, you continue with us. Otherwise, you know, you can just, you know, you have nothing, you have not lost anything. Are you saying that? Yeah, uh, if we are confident enough, of course, it depends on the person, the, uh, maybe the experience uh, uh, we have in working with different clients. If I've been working uh, with two clients and I was able to deliver the list that, uh, or even go went beyond their expectations, I am confident maybe that even with the third clients, I can deliver more reset. I can even uh, dare to ask them to try me for one month for free or just for some um, little amount. And then after that month, they had to pay me uh, based on the result I'll be delivering. That's what I'm uh, just trying to challenge in my mind. You can also help me to... Um, to come up with uh, yeah, maybe no, that's a, that's a, a good that's a way very, to that's a very, that. very, yeah. a very good idea and a very bold idea. I I never wanted to do that. I want to only work with people who pay me on their day one, you know. Um, but uh, what you are telling is a good idea, is a great idea. In fact, I want to hear from others. Uh, but uh, you also tell me that, um, you know, you are also telling me that. Uh, monthly payment is very scary are you what are you saying you know are you saying they should pay us for the whole year or something like that i mean are you referring to that kind of a thing like they should pay us they should commit to one year of work or something like that uh no i'm not i'm not i don't mean they should pay us for more years or more more period of time uh that goes beyond one month. I say that, imagine maybe if um, uh, I, I have been working with Step Up One, maybe with uh, their partner for um, six months now, and I've been helping them to grow in different ways because I was able to deliver and perform well. Um, I, I am trying to challenge this idea of 
keep in getting the same amount I started with instead of maybe raising the payment. Maybe if I was getting 100 per month, what if I, there is a way or an approach to negotiate and get uh, a raised uh, or an increased payment at least 200 per month because I'm helping them. I help, I've helped them to grow and they're making maybe more money uh, uh, from my contribution. Things like that. Okay, yeah, that's a very interesting, interesting discussion. Uh, in selling, in social selling, we can even you know see, like uh, you know, if you are able to do, but uh, it's a very tricky one actually. Yeah, let's let's park this one. You know, basically, you are saying you know, uh, uh, reward. You know, reward me for you know uh, better results. Um, uh, that's what you're saying, you know, um, uh, results and reward, you know, uh, can you have result yes. and rewards tied up together so that, you know, the more better results I give you, the more reward you give me. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah, a good, sure. good, good point. Uh, um, yes. Another point, if I try to go fast, another point was, um, uh, in the last discussions, we had agreed that you were to try paid marketing. I think as we are looking for more uh, clients who are well targeted, we need also to try at least one time the paid marketing because in a paid, mark in a paid advertisement or paid campaigns, uh, there is a way you target people depending on whom you want to show your adverts. And you can um, increase your brand awareness. You can see more people messaging you, asking about what you do and how they, you can work together. I think if you try, you, you would see that there is a way maybe um, uh, paid marketing also or paid advertisement increases maybe uh, the re, uh, can contribute to our, our the result we get. And you can also, um, you can maybe choose uh, one of the goals of paid marketing like brand awareness or traffic uh, because our website is also contain a lot of information that um, can uh, um, inform everyone of what we do and how we want to, to help them in their business. We can use traffic uh, to our website um, but my idea is to also try this paid these paid campaigns and see what they 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 they, they deliver to us. Thank you. Okay. No, this is uh, already you know in the in thinking. So I'll call it you know paid marketing. It's there in the thinking, but uh, we need to really you know um, you know think through this. So uh, just coming back to the thing, right? So we, we will put all our focus in one single industry and we choose IT services. Why IT services? Because, you know, they uh, have the ability to give us each of these IT services company, like IBM has um, 300,000 people, Accenture has 400,000 people, um, you know, uh, Cognizant has 200,000 people. So all of these people have, you know, hundred thousands of people and uh, they have... Uh, their sales teams are anywhere between 3,000 people to 5,000 people. And all of them have LinkedIn Sales Navigator. All their sales teams already have LinkedIn Sales Navigator and they don't use it at all. So this guys could be, you know, very good for us to get the whole thing. So how we are going to do that? We are going to, you know, first connect with all the 5,500 people within this thing through LinkedIn. And then we will also connect with all the 5,500 people through email as well, you know, centrally, centrally, we'll do this through email, maybe from 10 different emails, you know, we'll figure that out. Okay. Uh, and then, so everything, so you, from your point of view, you're still going to be, you know, uh, executing your LinkedIn strategy. And the only thing that I will ask you, you know, to do is to find, you know, like, uh, like maybe, you know, five to 10 emails of this employee, you know, either the people who are connecting or the first 10 people, it doesn't matter who it is. I just need a pattern. Okay. So if you can basically, you know, let's say, you know, you are in your HubSpot and you have all these people, you know, here. Um, so all I want you to do is, you know, when you're connecting your first connection, so you will come, uh, let, let me take an example, right? Uh, let me take, um, 
uh, let's say ali ali has been like really killing it in terms of you know collecting emails so he's really um, so let's take ali and ali has been you know uh, collecting the emails of all the people that you know he's uh, doing it so if you come back on ali's thing you know you can see that he is collecting all the emails you know i hope you can see this right so let's say you know this for this person ali has not collected the email so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to this guy let's say you know this person uh, vlad kaufman so i can click on uh, vlad kaufman okay i clicked on the you know the person lord coffin vp of software development trade analytics in new jersey i'm going to then click on get email on behalf i'm doing this on behalf of ali okay so uh, there is an email and but it is checking for validity so don't wait for this validity you know stuck here just go back to the um, uh, contacts again uh, click on the next person uh, oh no 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 not here um, sorry not here just click on that person and then you know you would open the next uh, thing okay still checking oh man this thing has become really slow so uh, you know if you could you know uh, i i i think you know you are able to understand what i'm saying right if if let's say if you can use the get email uh, thing and just get accounts for just 10 people or how many ever people you can get for free right if you could do that that is enough for me to you know find everybody else's email hopefully uh, and um, you know and um, try to you know do this on behalf of all of you together uh, is that is that something that we can do guys i mean you know like um, just 10 20 people whatever you can find their emails you know it'll, it will that will be really cool what do you say so i have the email has come now so copy the email address uh, go to the contacts this is uh, oh god uh, ali right some problem with uh, the speed actually can you can everybody hear me yes yes can i hear you okay okay cool thank you for that thank you so so this is what i want i want you to you know you 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 find out the email of five people or 10 people i'll find out the email of all the 5000 people are you with me every one of you keep finding the email of the people that you know you are connecting to is that clear yes, yes that yes. yeah um because i feel that uh, you know it will increase the amount of work that you have to do especially you know sitting in see as much as possible i want all of you to work for your clients big time i want you to think for your clients work for your clients uh, i want the work that you do for step up should not take more than 30 minutes every single day 30 minutes that's all you should spend on step up right um so that you know i mean if you do uh, you know and uh, 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 well, well, this is i'm talking about you know a situation where you have like one two three clients okay if you don't have any client then you should work for six hours every day on step up that's that's what you should be doing all the time okay so so let's do that let's take you know this guys uh, okay what do we do for the rest of the people okay so this is a new strategy okay we already have 200000 you know clients in in our uh, thing and um, and um, you know we need to be you know uh, 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 we need to finish them you know we should not try to you know uh, so even for the old clients every uh, i want one one big thing from all of you okay i want all of you to you know uh, you know all of you to um, Uh, uh, find out the email of every single client who has connected with you okay that's why i published this leaderboard especially this leader these leaders okay i want all of you i hope you can see the leaderboard it's very small let me just make it big okay so this is the current leaderboard as of today 
I want all of you, uh, Abdul Muhammad Abdul Kader, Shem, Barbary, you know, to out of these three thousand eight hundred and fifty people, right, that you have connected, many, many must have you know connected back with you, right? But many of you have not really updated, you know, who that person is. So, can I please ask you to update HubSpot, okay? as to you know who connected with you let's say you know if you are doing ali then you know ali will basically you know uh, say okay these are the people who are connected with me and this is their email if you could just update their email of the people who have connected with you then i want to see if if we could you know do a, an email campaign to all the people that have connected with you already because i do want this work to go waste you know these hard working people Mahayadin Abdul Kadir, Berberi, Patience, Kasi, you know, um, Bugashane, Sheila, uh, Isra, Jonas, Emmanuel, all of you people have worked really hard. Okay. And you have not yet realized the full power of your hard work because you have worked hard. You have, you know, contacted thousands and thousands of people. Okay. Just do this one more step. Find out all the people from let's take let let's take ali you know he has connected with 2264 people i am 100% sure ali are you there in this call i don't know whether ali is there in this call mm, or uh, let's take sheila i mean i don't know uh, is there anybody who is sheila are you there yeah sheila is here so sheila let me take your um, example okay so you have connected with 1799 people how many of them have connected back with you do you know sheila no i'm not sure but but if I'm you look at sure your, but if you, but if you look at your connections how mm -hmm. many are there in your connections right now how many connections are there for you i have 587 connections right now okay i am pretty sure sheila i am 100% sure at least 400 of them or 300 of them will be clients will be clients yeah. yeah yeah i want the emails let's assume you know for example let me say how, how many you have updated okay let me just quickly see how many you have updated okay sheila is here she has invited how many people sheila sheila has invited uh, uh, 1799 and sheila you are telling in hubspot only 25 people connected with you i am telling you this is wrong not you know this number is not 25 it's at least 300 i'm going to try to update it tomorrow yeah so what i'm going to do sheila for you is this okay i'm going to look at all your 300 people okay you can't find the email of all your 300 people in like you know one day you know it will take you maybe you know maybe even one one month or maybe even two months you know these 300 people okay and then what i'm going to do i'm going to email all these 300 people okay ideally ideally from your inbox okay i will teach you how to email all these 300 people okay from your inbox maybe right. even i can do it on behalf of you if you give me all the 300 people's email in one mm -hmm. click in one click i will email all 300 of them in one click right. okay um and i will try to do it on behalf of you sheila so that you know i don't want to teach you all these things and you know you make a mistake it's a very deadly mistake you know if you make a mistake in this in this thing okay so i will do it on behalf of you sheila you give me the 300 people's email that has connected with you and I will log in on behalf of you and I will email all the 300 people on behalf of you and I, uh, I will guarantee we will, try, we will get at least 10 jobs from this email campaign because we should, we should you know, get some jobs you know, from here, right? We should not let our old work go waste. We have to extract the maximum amount of jobs from the work that we have already done. So if Sheila has 300 people, I only wonder how much Mohaeddin Abdul Qadir has or, you know, Kasi has, 
you know, or Ali has, you know, because Ali has connected with 2000 people. Patience has connected with 2400 people. So I am sure these guys have much more number of connections and I want all their emails. Okay. I want this connected on LinkedIn to be updated and I want their emails to be updated. Is that clear to everybody? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Yeah. John Bosco. So John Bosco, okay. this is very useful. John Bosco. Can you give this, you know, free things to everybody because today I have given only one free version, which is, you know, get email.io, but uh, John Bosco has given me find that email and hunter.io. Um, so all these guys are, you know, um, you know, can, you know, because uh, get email will only give you 10 emails every month or something like that. Right. So uh, we, we have to do this. Um, so, so, so please put this in the main WhatsApp group so that, you know, everybody understands this um, John Bosco. Okay. So it is clear. So all you guys, you know, so I want uh, all the group leaders to chase, you know, uh, Mohayadin Abdul Kadir, because I want these guys, right. Who has been working so hard. We cannot let them go. We have to make sure that they finish the email job because we need all, all these uh, things to be, uh, to, to go back and get their uh, things. Okay. So, so if you notice the difference, we are only going to email the people who are connected with us on LinkedIn. Okay. In, in the case of our previous clients, in the case of the new clients, who are the new clients, these people, who are the new clients, guys, the 3,500 people from IBM, right? These ones, these people, right? We are going to email every single one of them. We are not going to email only the people who are connected. We are going to email every single one of them and we are going to knock their doors and we are going to ask them if our help is needed or if we could, you know, dramatically increase their, you know, leads. And so that's what we are going to do. We are going to, you know, do with every single one of them, not only the people who are connected, but every single one of them, but we, but we won't be able to do that for, you know, um, the, the, the other people, because, you know, we don't have a strategy to collect emails of 200,000 people, right? But we know how to collect the emails of 5,500 people. We can do it. All right. So that's pretty much it guys, you know, from me today. Uh, we saw two things we started with. We said, uh, LinkedIn should not be the only channel and we should not be going target audience city by city. Okay. So we changed both. We added, um, you know, uh, we changed our target audience to specific companies within specific industry. Second, we changed our, uh, you know, a LinkedIn campaign from not just LinkedIn, but also to email. So two, two learnings and two changes. Yeah. So we have done both. There are many, many more ideas that you are giving me. We will do every one of them uh, as we learn more. Okay. Yes. Samuel, you know, you have raised your uh, uh, hand, you know, do you want to say something? Yeah. I just is like uh, uh, a question and a clarification as well. Hmm. Uh, the first one is about the photo session, which we schedule for tomorrow. Yes. I could, I could like to confirm if the schedule still. Yes. And uh, the so, second one is... Uh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. So, yes, it is scheduled in the search center from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow. And um, uh, we are trying to do this every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Every Sunday throughout the year uh, at the search center. And we want to do something like this in few more places. Not only at the search, uh, but we are not yet decided whether, you know, uh, it will be URIs in some place in Kalabai. Uh, we need to select and maybe one place in Nairobi as well. Every, every Saturday or every Sunday or every Friday, choose the time when all of you are going to get together and, um, and you know, uh, get together. So we are expanding the idea of not just photo session. We are going to do registration. We are going to do a little bit of teaching. We are going to do a little bit of handholding, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, yeah. Next, next question, Samuel. What is your next question? Uh, the first one is not clear on my side because I remember uh, our schedule was uh, uh, the photographers should come to Kalubeye because uh, some of uh, 
our team members they don't okay. have smart pictures on their linkedin profile sure. and it has been a, a challenge then you said mm -hmm. it should be done this sunday but because of rain and mud it wasn't uh, possible then we okay. schedule it for this sunday okay no i i wanted to check with uh, maybe you know jamari or bahana you know uh, can we ask uh, morris or you know can we ask one more photographer to go to kalabai you know tomorrow um to you know help with uh, samvel and uh, axo and all their teams there are like 15 20 people in kalabai uh, is it possible for either a morris or uh, um anybody christian you know any of the photographers to go to kalabai um at a at a certain time uh, yes anis hello yes uh that is a valid point from somewhere let's know uh, exactly how many there are then we can even use uh, morris to just go there mm -hmm. at a specific time because i know it can't be even more than one hour for the people that we have currently in kalubaya then we can organize with bahana mm -hmm. how morris uh, may be accompanied by myself can okay. reach there and they come back to sa yeah okay and see of them coming yeah it's a valid point yeah uh, shall, sh can we do samuel tomorrow morning 9 o'clock you know in 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 uh, kalabai uh, you know so we start from 9 to 10 or something like that uh, so 9 to maybe 9 10 11 so two hours of photography and in kalabai and then you know uh, jomery and morris can come back to sir and and start at sir at from 11 o'clock onwards 11 to 4 uh, uh thank you uh, anis but uh, i was suggesting because we are few if we can do it in afternoon hours okay uh yeah we can do that also from morning 9 to you know 9 to 2 uh, nine, 9 to 2 we can do it in kalabai sorry in kakuma and 2 to 4 sure. you know we can do it in um, you know uh, kalabai is is that is that okay bahana and uh, jamari 9 to uh, 2 yeah. I, I don't think if we can go in the late time, Nikalubaya is better. Mm -hmm. But uh, also, we should be flexible. But in the range, maybe at least uh, from two, we have left Kalubaya. Mm -hmm. yeah, then let Samuel will tell us exactly at what time maybe they can be there ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll fix two o'clock to be at Kalubaya. So Samuel, you know, if you can tell Jean-Marie, you know, where we should come okay uh jamari and uh and uh, morris can just come to kalabai okay uh, at 2 p.m tomorrow and we will okay. try to we'll try to finish all the work in in sir uh from nine to nine o'clock to two o'clock yes uh, okay Asim. thank you and my my second uh uh opinion was most of uh kalabai youth they are interested with uh, step up activities but mostly they are raising two two issues the first one is access to internet and second one is that some of uh, the platform like uh hubspot is not working well in in a phone so it needs it needs uh, access to computer so they have been uh, they have been complaining about uh, internet and computer access so i would like to know if there is any way they can be helped Yes, they can be helped. Somehow, Samuel, you need to find out a way for them to help themselves for the first one month. Because I need to see that they are able to do at least for one month. Right? Uh, once they show me that they are able to do the work for one month, then we can start giving them the 500 shillings You know, we are giving everybody else. Okay. But I need proof that they are willing to put their skin in the game, like Muhammad was saying, and do some work. Because, you know, there is, you know, there is no free lunch. People have to show that they are working and there is, you know, they, they are working and, you know, they are able to... Uh, so please show us that they are working and we'll provide every single youth in Kalabai the 500 shillings they deserve. Okay, thank you, Mom. Uh, uh, excuse me, on, on, uh, before concluding on that, uh, 
you know, it's the decision that maybe I'm thinking myself. I will talk to Maurice and the Bahana, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll let Samuel know exactly when we reach to Kalubae. Mm -hmm. We have the session maybe of one hour, mm -hmm. clicking, especially those people already set the, the LinkedIn, mm -hmm. so that they can be on the same uh, line with others. Mm -hmm. Then for the remaining onboarding, maybe they should be patient. Uh, so that we can fix a day, maybe we can go there with, with some. No, no, tomorrow, way. no, no, tomorrow, just you yeah. know, fix the time, do only the photos and get the hell out of there, okay? Just do photos sure. tomorrow, yeah, yeah. So, is, is two o'clock okay, or you want to fix another time? Uh, we let know in the WhatsApp just after okay. the meeting. I will contact Morris and okay. the Bahana, let okay. it get to know from them so that we okay, can okay. So, Samuel, you know, wait for the time so that you know you can call everybody at the same time, okay? Yes, Kasi, what do you have to say? Uh, yes, um, what I wanted to highlight is um, I wanted just to call upon the attention of all the team leaders uh, because we've been like uh, bringing in new graduates and uh, the graduates are coming at the center actually at some. Uh, they come early while the team leaders are not yet there and they want help. So if the team leaders are not ready to come and help them earlier enough, then these people will struggle like uh, with some of the issues that should be addressed by, the, by their team leaders. And uh, we will also be giving a huge load to the, to the center if we don't have people who can take care of their uh, members when they are ready in the center earlier enough. Uh, oh, that's two, that's good point. Yeah, good point, Kasi. Yes, uh, the second point is that uh, the new graduates should understand that their destiny is in their hands. And if they don't, have, if they don't work hard, then uh, they, 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 don't, they are not supposed to expect benefits uh, out of things that they did not do. Because uh, once they, they think maybe like once you get in step up directly, you are given job. And while you don't know that there are things that you are supposed to put in place, effort and effort that you are supposed to put in place so that you have that job or so that somebody is able to find for you a job. Uh, meanwhile, uh, it's good if maybe Anis, you can like uh, let them know that they are supposed to work hard so that they are getting this benefit from their good job that they will do later. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Kasi. All right, guys, I think uh, one last point I'll make and then I'll close this call. Um, I think, um, you know, uh, I'm not too worried about, you know, everybody in step up uh, the new graduates, but I'm thinking, you know, the leaders, um, I think especially the, the people who are in the leaderboard and uh, yeah, I think all of them should start choosing their team leader. Uh, from the existing set of team leaders. So I will publish to everybody, um, you know, uh, who are the uh, team leaders people can choose. And then, you know, they should try to choose them because I think uh, Mohammed also raised the point. Uh, I think they have proved that they are working hard and that they are, and I think it's, it's time that we start, you know, uh, giving them support, um, you know, um, because it is only a matter of time that all of these people will land jobs. I'm, I have no doubt that every single one of them will land their first or second jobs very soon. So, so I think we, we can ask every single new graduate, you know, who uh, is there to choose their team leaders uh, so that, you know, um, so that it's important that, you know, there is nobody who is without a team leader to help them, um, you know, when they need help. Yes, Kasi, again, you raise the hand. Yes, Anis. Uh, the, the, the last thing that I just forgot to speak about is uh, uh, we have onboarded new uh, graduates and, uh, and, and, and these guys need an email address, the step up email. They also need clients so that they start the campaigns. Yes. Uh, but I, I can see if I can remind Kisa to like uh, the dashboard and identify the graduates who have not find their emails. Yeah. So that at least this step is also uh, worked upon. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, last point. I mean, I almost forgot to announce this, but uh, we are going to, you know, uh, have 
you know uh, we're going to start with a few full time employees for step up dot one uh, very soon so that you know there is a, a full time uh, person whose job is to take care of all onboarding activities right um and uh, you know so we need some leader to take charge of you know uh, uh, so somebody who's you know so the the job of a let's say an onboarding leader is he has to we have three months uh, october november december and in these three months we need to become a thousand graduates in the next three months so everything that needs to be done needs to be done by this onboarding leader along with all of us all of the other team leaders because you can't just do it all by yourself but um, he will be responsible he or she will be responsible for emails uh, i'm going to take it away from kisha kisha has done a phenomenal job i don't know how he did this so far uh, but kisha shem uh, they have done a phenomenal job so far uh, but i want i want to appoint a full time person who we will pay uh, to do the job uh so that you know it is it is not it is not being done by you know um as a voluntary activity you know it's good it's good you know we we all need to volunteer right um but uh, i also want to fix you know uh, three or four such full time roles you know onboarding role uh, i want to also appoint one full time person for marketing uh, i want to appoint one full time person for you know um other activities so there are many such activities you know we need to appoint a full time role we will do it slowly Uh, but right now the need of the hour is to identify uh, a full time person to do this for um, onboarding onboarding is the number one thing um and also i would say you know marketing I, onboarding and marketing are really the two important things right now uh, there are others you know for example training is one more thing we want to keep conducting physical and digital training every week uh, continuously throughout the year Uh, other than this uh, two hour you know long meetings you know we want to uh, do you know how to meetings uh, so we're going to do that also um so so let's see how that goes we're going to we're going to organize um, some interviews and we're going to select the best person for the job uh, you know for onboarding for uh, training and for marketing let's start with these three roles uh, we will keep on adding more full time roles um, as we you know uh, grow bigger Yes, Yunus. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Anis. Hello. Yes. Sir, mm, I have uh, now six hundred eighty-nine connections. So, are they need to me uh, to be connected back to LinkedIn or? I don't understand your question. Sorry. Said I have um, six hundred and eighty nine connections. Yes. So I they want me to be back uh, to link in again, all of them. Yes, Those I want. Those who me back. Yes, I want all the six hundred and eighty nine people's emails, so that we can you know uh, send them uh, send them an email. I will send them an email on behalf of you, Yunus, uh, in one shot, right? Uh, so that you know you don't do it six hundred and eighty nine times. Kisha, Kisha, what is the point you may want to make, Kisha? I uh, know. I just uh, uh, to wanted to answer, maybe to facilitate even the person who will uh, take the role of the onboarding. Mm -hmm. um, I've been uh, going through the the Excel sheet uh, where we've said that I will be uh, picking. Uh, we'll be checking from the Excel sheet mm -hmm. the LinkedIn URL of a person, see if it is computer, and then uh, an email is created. Uh. I've uh, been going through it. Uh, and the people that uh, have no emails they are linkedin i've been uh, making the comment in the group i think uh, have you been able to see that uh, they are linkedin are still not uh, complete yeah so if there is any person who has been not uh, created the email it means that uh, there is something uh, that hasn't been complete yet but the rest of other have been uh, yeah, creating cre have been able to create the email for them okay no that's good that's good um yeah there is still a lot of these things so once you have done the email kisha do you update it as need clients in fact you know like this and then, yes okay. that's what i do okay so all these people have really you know not corrected their problem you know they are still their linkedin has other problems no 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 problems you know kisha i understand where you are coming from 
um, you can even mention them here, Keisha. I'm thinking, you know, when you're checking it here, you know, um, we can just say, what is the problem with their LinkedIn, you know? So you can just, you know, click here and say, you know, uh, no banner, something like that. I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a way to, you know, make some corrections, you know, because, um, you know, uh, because I think, you know, it needs to be, you know, uh, this thing, you know, what needs to be fixed in LinkedIn. So you can say Keisha, you know, no banner, no uh, title, um, you know, something like this. So that's why, you know, they are not getting their email. So, you know, they have to fix this problem. Okay. Hopefully, you know, we can get it done. But uh, I'm sorry, guys, you know, I think we've run out of time now. We'll uh, take this uh, full time thing next week. Uh, but uh, we are just, you know, really starting to, you know, take off. And I hope all of you are able to, you know, join this, join this, uh, you know, uh, with your commitment. It is never going to be enough if I'm the only one who's committed. All of you should be committed, you know, because it's your journey. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. We'll meet next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bhagashane. Bye, Jamari. Bye, Yunus. Bye, Anis. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you.